Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest... whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Do you think there was something going on there? Yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or, like, sexy sparks. Definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. Not that it matters. Now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious, how do you compete with that? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This is always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head off! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh... Oh, wake up. Wake up. Darling, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cute. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone, Travis. Yeah. <sighs> 
Yeah. I'm close. Stand by. Over. You can't hide from- 
for me in my own house, fucker! You're a fucker. What the...
How do you do it? I thought you were shot. I got better. The bitch is bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Oh. Yeah. enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer. Shooter, take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee, and she killed your mother too. Wait! This isn't gonna be too pleasant for you. I promise you that. Yo, oh, come on, man. This is my knife. No, please. Please. 
Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me! You're leaking red like a juice box. No, oh, please, you, you can... you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane like. <sighs> oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Bobby? Fuck. We gotta go. What? Uh, I got it.
These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Problem. Ah, oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. up in a documentary. No. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. You said it. These sons of bitches had it all planned out.
So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. All right, here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
love he ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. We could we could talk this out. We we can still save the others. It doesn't have to go down this way, man. Please. your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. 
past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? One last time, go back. Go back and end this. <laughs>